welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials like this now simply come on the task number one and open this link in incognito window okay now just wait for a second click on this file icon then click on this make a copy and just simply click on make a copy okay so we are done with that now what we have to do just simply click on this item option just wait for a second click on this item option okay now just simply click on this uh, view option then click on this freeze and choose the first row okay like this so now the first row has been freeze for you now what you have to do just click over here right click over here now choose the short sheet a to z like this so it's it has been done and we are done with this two task now we have to do one thing we have to add new sheet so just copy the name carefully okay now click on this plus icon and here we have to just change the name so just click on this down arrow click on this rename option and paste the name okay and just make sure there is no extra space so if it's not just hit enter now make sure you are in the a1 shell now just copy this formula okay and paste the formula over here like this and hit enter and all the data has been coming for you now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the filter data 2 what we have to do please pay attention first of all we have to just return back to our item shell okay like this now just click anywhere now we have to create one filter first of all we have to create one filter so what you have to do just simply click on this data option and click on this create a filter before that just choose the column number a okay like this now click on this data filter then click on this create filter okay now here you can see this symbol this symbol i am talking about okay so just simply click on this symbol okay and from this search option just uncheck this cinnamon bun okay like this once you click on that the green tick has been gone now just simply click on okay so once you're done with that now if you just click on check my progress for first filter you will get a score without any issue now click on this remove filter option okay now again make sure you are in the a1 now again click on this data and this time you ha we have to choose the filter view first time we have created one filter now we are creating the second filter so once you click on this now the output must be look like this so it select all the column again click on this icon and again choose the selection burn option so just if you just click on here the green tick has been gone now simply click on ok and once you're done with that now simply scroll and click on check my progress for task number two okay so once you're done with that now just simply click on cross okay again go to data filter view and delete all filter and once you're done with all this task number one and task number two now what you have to do just go to the, my telegram channel i will share one file over there and how can you access that just come over here and in the search bar search for the gsp number so gsp number is this so just copy this gsp number and in the search bar type hashtag gsp number and there you will get one file so just save this file the name of the file is quick lab 1062 1062 is the gsp number now what you have to do click on this file icon click on this import and click on this upload click on this browse option and just upload that file 1062 okay just click on open now please pay att attention over here now here you have to choose replace spreadsheets so just click on that and click on this import data and now once you're done with that you can see new data has been added over here and once you get this kind of output just simply come on the task number three scroll down click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now scroll down check the score for task number four you will get a score without any issue and if you just simply check the score for task number five you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys if you like the way i solve this lab please give one thumbs up and comment down below is this helpful for you or not have a good day guys